Hi everyone and welcome back for a new episode of Spring Boot 101. In today's episode, we are going to build a simple client-side application that is going to use our REST controller. We're going to use AngularJS and although the purpose of this demo is not to go very deep into Angular, I just want to illustrate that Spring and Angular work very well together. That being said, we'll turn on the slides and go back to our application. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to add the Angular script to our booking application. I have the Angular script right here. I'm going to copy it. And if you remember from our previous course, we need to paste it here in the static folder under the resources folder. In the static folder, we can uh, add uh, style sheets, uh, JavaScript files, fonts, images, etc. Pretty much all the static content that a typical application needs. I'm going to paste our Angular script in here. And now I need two more things. I need an ang a module and I need a controller for our application. I'm going to create another folder named apt and inside the app folder, I'm going to add our module and our controller. We'll add a new file called app.module, which is going to be a self-executing function. That's it for our module. It's the simplest module you'll ever have. It's just called app and it has no dependencies. Next, I want to add a controller for application. We'll call it bookings controller. And I have a template for this. Our controller is going to be named bookings controller. And there we have it. Now we need to add uh, these three scripts to our index page. So we'll create some script tags. And now we'll have the same approach as we had for the bootstrap library. So we need to have a source that will enable our application to work in offline mode. And that is um, with the uh, source tag with the source attribute and then we need to add th source and this will enable application to work in server contexts okay so pretty much the same thing that we did for our css we have source and th source and we'll do the same thing for the other scripts Okay, now we need to add ng app, app because we named our module app, and we need to add a controller which is bookings controller, and we're going to use the controller as VM syntax. Okay, before getting started with the controller, I just want to fire up our application and see if uh, all the scripts uh, are loading correctly and if everything is wired up. Okay, 
we'll click that 12. Localhost 8080. And okay, so I probably have a typo. Yeah, because Angular dot min dot js. Okay, we'll restart our application. Keep refresh here and now we have our angular script our module and our controller everything is loading perfectly so we can resume our work in the bookies controller i want uh, to add the following functionality i want to have functions that retrieve the bookings from the database i want to have a function that um, will allow the user to remove it by pressing a button and I want to have a toggle that will switch uh, the displayed bookings between all the bookings and the affordable bookings, uh, which in our case will be the bookings where the price per night is less than a hundred bucks. So I'm going to store my bookings in, a, in an array, which is going to be empty at first. Okay. And when we load the page, I want this array to get populated automatically. So. I'll need the initialization function. And in order to access my REST controller, I need a dependency on HTTP. And now we need to know our URL. If you want to get all the bookings, our URL, basically we need to call this method. So our URL is slash bookings slash all http need a get request because this method accepts only get we'll pass in our url and then when this when we get a response we can actually populate our bookings array and again bookings is response dot data okay and this is the initialization function now i need a few more functions one to delete the booking uh, one to refresh the bookings and the other one to refresh and display only the affordable bookings so i'll have a get all function and i think that i'll probably reuse my code like this because it's the same thing okay and i'll need a get affordable function but this time the url will be a little different it will be the bookings and if you want to get the affordable bookings we need to call this method here so it's slash booking slash affordable and we need to pass in a price affordable and we'll pass in a price of 100 bucks and then the rest basically is the same And I'll need one final function to delete a booking. We need to pass in the booking ID. And we need to call this method, the remove method. Now, I see that there is a little mistake here because the request method should be post. We usually bind um, uh, the delete action to a post verb. Okay, but it's fixed now, so will work and we need to reach this we need to reach slash bookings slash delete and we need to pass in the id of the booking that we want to delete bookings slash delete and we'll append 
the ID. Okay, and now we are going to make a post request to this URL. And if things are successful, we'll have to display the updated list of bookings because if you remember, uh, after we delete our booking, then this method will return the remaining hotel bookings. So inside our controller, we need to delete it and then we need to get the updated list and use it in order to populate our bookings array. So we have these private functions and now we need to make them visible. I'll have get all. I'll have get affordable, which is get affordable. And I'll have delete booking. Okay, so now that I have exposed our bookings array and these three methods, we can go to our index page and create some, and create the UI for this. I'll have, I'll create a difficult rule first. This is just for formatting purposes. And inside here, I'll have a table We have a table and we will use an NGGP directive We'll iterate through our bookings And for each booking, we're going to display the hotel name, the number of nights, the price per night and the total price And then we're going to have a button and when we click the button, we're going to call the delete booking method on our controller, which in turn will delete the booking from the database and will refresh our bookings list. And next, we'll have the toggle between show all bookings and show the affordable bookings. We'll use a button group, we have two buttons. The button labeled all will refresh our boot bookings by fetching all the bookings in the, in the database. And the button labeled less than 100 bucks will call the get affordable method on our controller, which in turn will call the database, will actually call our REST controller and get the bookings where the price is less than $100. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, let's see it in action. The application has started. We'll hit refresh. And there it is. We have our bookings. I'll close the F12 window. We have our free bookings. If I click less than 100 bucks, then we only get EBS because it's the only hotel where the price per night is less than 100. If I click all, then I get all my, books, all my bookings again. And if I want to delete no hotel, I delete it. And now I get only two bookings. Uh, we can refresh it just to show you that it works and then the toggle works again our application is working which is really really cool so that's it for this demo uh, as you can see it's really not very difficult to, um, to use angular with spring and um, one thing that one final thing that i want to point out is that all these methods here uh, basically, I use the HTTP directly in the controller and in production, maybe this is not the best uh, practice to use. You normally have a data service which would encapsulate all, the, all these calls to your REST controllers uh, in there. But I wanted to keep things simple. Now, I know it's not uh, maybe a best practice, but I wanted to keep things simple and not to add too much 
um, complexity on top of this controller because in the end um, the, the goal is to show you that Spring and Angular work well together. That being said, uh, thanks for watching. Have a nice day, write amazing code, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.